Hey you guys, I'm back with another video and this is a fashion vlog for y'all and this is something I really like to do because I told y'all in another video I like to go shopping and things like that nature and stuff like that, you know. First off, I'm going to start by saying buy things that you are comfortable in and it's okay to venture out into different styles and different fashions but, you know, Buy stuff that you really like and don't follow trends. Have your own style. Have your own, you know, the way you wear it is how you going to perceive to people. And this is showing them what, what type of person you are off the bat and showing them what, you know, what type of personality you have on based on clothing and stuff like that. But first off, I'm going to say by... Is four types of body types. You have the oval, you have an upside triangle, the triangle, and the trapezoid. First off, the upside upside down triangle is the more fit body type, the muscular, you know, something like that. And the the opposite is the triangle, which is your small on top, but big on the bottom. And the next one is the oval, which is you're you're not fat but you're chubby or something like that you can always adjust your weight you know your size and some people don't don't know how to lose weight or don't know how to gain weight so they stay the same size or the same weight but some people like me my my weight fluctuates i i, I will you know check myself and when i'm gaining weight more towards the like the oval I start to lose weight and become a trapezoid, which is the next size I'm gonna get to is like the, the the normal size where you look normal, you know, you just skinny, no muscle, no fat, you just skinny. So first off, I'm I'm gonna start with the casual wear, you know. You gotta start with the shoes first. The shoes. For y'all to realize that these type of polos right here, as I show you on the back, these don't go with shoes. These don't go with like running shoes or nothing like that, you know, fashion shoes or anything pertaining to Nike or these or all that. You can't wear this with that. You, this is a casual shirt for casual wear. The final Ralph Lauren, you know, he's he was always a casual person because he made this as a casual wear or you know something something you go out and to to present yourself in the better light you know this i wear a lot of polo because i don't i stopped wearing shoes and it make me look like a kid again i don't like looking like a kid i grew up i don't i put all that behind me you know this is a real polo you know but you know that's another video i'm gonna show y'all and this is one. This is a rugby polo. It's a green and orange polo. You know, you can dress these up or dress it down. You know, you can, you know, just wear it as a wear it as a casual, casual shirt, like these chinos, something like that, and like a and like a boot or a Clark or something, something casual. You know. Then I'm getting to something towards the difficult things, you know, like we have to layer. If you're if you're a casual person, you'll know what layering means because a lot of casual stuff is plain. You have to layer. You know, what I got on is layer. This is a shirt and top of us. This is a cat this is a um a regular shirt, you know, from JC Penney's or something like that, a regular sh sweater with a shirt up on it. It all comes from JC Penney's. Some comes from Polo, you know. But you have to layer. If you want to look casual, you have to layer basic colors, basic clothes like that, you know. And the sweater, I have to get into the sweater. If you look, if you're going for this type of look because it's it's become a winner, you have to keep it plain with this. Just keep it plain. Don't don't. Don't put too much on it. Don't put too much emphasis on on 
trying to trying to dress it up. Don't dress this shirt up. This this is plain. Don't dress this shirt up. It's all according to what you like to wear. Don't dress this shirt up at all. This is okay. This by itself and a nice watch, you know. Okay, with this. This is a layering shirt, what I was talking about. Just like this one, this is a layer shirt. You can put this over a plain polo tee or a polo collar shirt or a polo polo rugby shirt. This will work. You know, if you want to go for that look. And these. The sweaters. You have to have, this is a must have in your collection. If you're a casual type person like me, this is a must have. I have plenty of these and this one is uh, Chatham Road. It's all types of brands of these. But you have to have these. You have to layer have to layer if you want to look casual you know you have to layer you have to layer then if you want to take it to another level you have these bow ties it comes with the cuff links you know you can you aren't supposed to you don't have to wear the cuff links you know but the bow tie will put you set you apart from any you know i can put this on with this this will look great you know as business casual casual because down south, people don't really dress like, you know, business casual or casual because we are, you know, in the south. We don't really, we don't really be in the city. This is a city where, so this is something. And you have to, you have to really like, like this in order to get into bow ties because you'll look like a fool if you don't like wearing bow ties and you wear a bow tie, you know. I'm gonna get into the watches. You have to have a nice watch in order to look casual or, you know, quote unquote, be a grown man or look like a grown man. You have to. So, it's all types of watch brands, like, it's all types of clothing brands, but, you know, you have to find what really fits you and fits the occasion. I have to get a sports watch. That's one thing I have to do. And I recommend these, this first watch company is a great company for y'all you know if y'all really like watches this this is a great watch you know and i recommend y'all to look into your own style you know if you if you're a more casual person you know st dress up how you want to if you're not comfortable just take it off just find you something that you're comfortable with you know and this is below the first the first this is the first watch my brother bought me. And this is a company named Balova. It's been around for, you know, decades and decades. And it's a great watch. You know, I recommend this, you know. It has gold accents. The thing with casual wear, you have to complement, not match, you know. You have to complement your outfit. And... I wouldn't really wear this watch with my outfit I have on right now because I have on dark colors, you know. With casual clothes, you have to pick dark colors when it's winter. According to, you know, the season, you have to go with the season as it changes seasons. This is a winter outfit because this is a dark sweater and, you know, a, a plaid shirt, a really small pinstripe plaid shirt. And this watch wouldn't go with the blue because it's gold gold don't really gold don't really accent blue that much dark colors you know but yeah that's the first that's the first one and it comes with you know you got to take care of your watches it comes with a a clean a cleaning thing a cleaning pad or a cleaning rag or whatever it's called you know just clean your watches if you're a watch connoisseur or a watch collector clean your watches sometimes um, I'm gonna get into my second watch I have. These are all nice watches. I need to, I need to, as I said, I need to get me a um sports watch I can wear on the daily when I'm not wearing casual because you get it's hard, it's hard dressing up casually when you're when you're busy, you know, doing a lot of work outside or being outside or if you like 
going outside and jogging and going walking. That's why I wear a lot of, you know, regular tees. I don't wear graphic tees or Nike tees or anything no more. I gave most of them away. Or, you know, when I'm when I'm jogging or walking, I like to wear I like to wear regular tees or a Nike a Nike tee with not not much graphic tees on there, but I stopped wearing that out, you know. You want to look presentable in front of a lot of people. When I'm going somewhere nice or to the mall, it's either I'm wearing something from earlier that day or I was outside doing something and, you know, you just caught me on off day. But many family members can tell I dress really nice, you know, whether I go somewhere or not. And this is my second watch. It's made by a company called Citizen. It is a great watch. I I recommend this type of this company to y'all. It's a great company. It's been around for decades, just like Belova. You know, if you want to pick one up, you know, it comes with a book, a warranty book. You know, you have to get it fitted the lengths according to your wrist size. I have little wrists, so you know, I, have, I always have to take the, the length size. I just go to your local jewelry store to get it fit to your wrist. Because these runs big on my wrist because I have little wrist. See, this is what I'm talking about. The silver goes great with the blue, the dark colors. You know, this already has is that navy blue or dark blue inside the watch. This is great. This goes great with my outfit. And I'm going to just put it on for y'all. Just so y'all can get the full scheme of things, you know. And what, I, what I'm talking about. Because gold, you have to really dress up gold. Because gold doesn't go with everything. Silver or sterling silver, you have to really you have to really know what you're doing with sterling silver or silver or you know stuff in that nature. See? It really sticks out because my outfit is plain, you know, it's not complicated. Don't don't be too complicated in what you're wearing, you know, because casual is very smooth, mellow. I'm a mellow type of person. I'm a smooth type of person. I don't really, you know, like wearing, like wearing, going with, going with the trend. I've always been a casual type of person. I always wear collared shirts or polo or nautical. Nautical is great. I had a Lacoste shirt when I was in high school. I wore that a lot. I wore a lot of collared shirts. I'm not really a, I'm not really a athletic wear type person or. You know, I don't really go with the trends. I, I buy what I like, you know. I buy what I what fits me, what fits my body type. I wear collar shirts before because, you know, with a collar shirt, you can really lose weight or gain weight, and it'll still look right on you. It won't look all, it won't make you look bigger than you are. And, you know, this is a great, great top. And you can... Like this outfit I have on, you can either dress it up or dress it down. It's according to what you like. You can have a graduation ring or, you know, a wedding ring or, you know, a regular ring. And <clears throat> and this is my video, you guys. And I just thank y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to my videos. God bless.